Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew Stotts and I'm the Emperor of Stemeria. Today we're starting a new series where we go over the history of Stemeria. nations are built and empires are forged. nation that becomes integrated into the empire, for every territory that we acquire, for every citizen that joins us, for every drop of water we collect, for every seed that we sow, for every watt of energy we produce, for every silver bar that we stamp, we are securing our future. So in this series, I want to go over the history of Stemeria year by year. And in later years, as things progress further and faster, I want to take a step back and look at the previous year and make similar videos towards this end. And this is our way of documenting the history of Stemeria, the development of Stemeria and the expansion of its empire. Now, trying to cover every development, every step forward, every iota of progress that we've made over the course of a single year, be it 2019 to 2020, 2020 to 21 and so on and so forth, during that time, we literally made hundreds of posts, of videos, of photos covering what we had been doing. And this is each year. And so rather than go into the finer details of every single uh, development that we ever had, I do want to make this as concise as possible and try to boil everything down to a dozen or two important developments over the course of that year in which real progress had been made, certainly from our perspective. And this is going to be a very important talking point as we progress through this entire series in that what we started with was virtually nothing. We started off with two people and a flag in the corner of my living room. That was Stemeria when it was founded. And even though this particular video is going to be covering from June 2019 to June 2020, I also wanted to take a moment to discuss the period before the official foundation of Stemeria in June 2019. Because what a lot of people don't seem to appreciate and a lot of people don't seem to understand is that Stemeria wasn't just founded on the 16th of June 2019 and that was it, we just worked from that point. There was a lot of work that went on behind the scenes for a very long time before that, on and off. It wasn't like a full-time um, nose the grindstone sort of situation. It was just something that was drifted in and out periodically while we put the pieces together. But this went back all the way in to 2018. And this is something that a lot of people don't seem to fully appreciate and fully understand. And so this is something I just want to touch upon a little bit more. Because as I've said for many years, and as I will continue to say until I'm blue in the face, if you are interested in building a nation, a genuine community that's going to have real impact 
on your life and the lives of the people around you, then you really need to take a step back and think about what you are doing, how you're going to go about doing it, and why you are doing it. It is no good going guns blazing, publishing and announcing to the rest of the world that you are establishing a nation, a republic, or a kingdom, or an empire, whatever else, if you've given absolutely no thought as to what you are doing, and what you stand for, and how you're presented, and what your brand is. I've seen no end of people coming up with flags, and names, and government structures, and monetary systems, and economic systems, and all the rest of it, on the fly, changing every five minutes because they haven't thought about this in a real, impactful, and meaningful way. And that is why Stemeria, for the most part, has been extremely consistent in what it is and how it presents itself and the goals that it is striving to achieve and the plan in place that we are using, the, the roadmap, if you like, that we are using in order to accomplish those goals. But even when Stemeria was actually founded in June 2019, we still waited an entire year before allowing people to become citizens because we still wanted to refine what we had already decided upon. We wanted to make sure that it was going to work. We wanted to make sure that what we believed and what we were trying to do was actually possible, plausible. And it turns out that it is. The values, the objectives, the aspirations and the plan that we had in place before 2019 and during 2019 into 2020 remained virtually unchanged and has remained unchanged to this day. So just to reiterate, if you are looking to establish a nation, if you are looking to establish a community, if you are looking to change your own little corner of the world in a real, impactful, meaningful way, then think about what you're doing before you put yourself out there in the public space. So once Demeria did become public and was officially launched in June 2019, it won't surprise many to learn that one of the first ever posts that we made was about the acquisition of 999 Fine Silver that was to be used as a medium of exchange within Stemeria. This is because Stemeria is a staunch advocate for the establishment of a monetary system based on the utilisation of sound money. Initially, this took the form of generic silver bullion, and we gradually added more of this to the Imperial Treasury over the course of 2019 before also acquiring 999.9 fine gold in September 2019. An iconic photo was also published during the opening days of Stemeria. Our first ever physical flag, which was placed on a ceremonial flagpole and displayed in the corner of my living room. And this is how Stemeria started, with two people and a flag. Now when Stemeria was first founded, we initially defined ourselves as a conceptual project because at that stage, we had no community, we had no land, we had no industry, and we had no revenue. The structure, values, and objectives that we had were just theoretical during this period. Nevertheless, in July 2019, we visited and completed our first trade agreement with the Wayward Territory, more commonly referred to as the Kingdom of Wayward in later years, with silver from Stemeria being exchanged for blue eggs from Wayward. On my second visit to Wayward in August 2019, we cemented our intentions for closer cooperation with the exchange of gifts, and in September 2019, we announced a declaration of friendship that made it clear that we intended to work together in a meaningful, real-world capacity. During the month of August, we also purchased some metal pin badges, which we began distributing to our supporters over the course of the year. Many of these supporters sent in photos displaying these badges, with some going on to become amongst the first Stumerian citizens. Later that same month, we also received a delivery of sabres, which we intended to distribute to members of the Imperial Guard once it was officially formed. In December 2019, the first steps had been taken in putting together the first custom-made prototype uniform for the Imperial Guard, and this was completed in March 2020. Towards the end of December 2019, we reached over 5,000 likes on our Facebook page, the only social media platform that we were present on up to that point. In February 2020, I travelled to New Westphalia to meet President Daniel. They were further than Wayward, but were still within striking distance. As with Wayward, we announced a declaration of friendship, but unfortunately, New Westphalia dissolved later on that year. Towards the end of February 2020, we produced our first ever passport covers, 
and in March 2020, we started producing and distributing flags to our supporters. In April 2020, we commissioned the creation of a set of jewellery for the Empress of Stemeria that was made predominantly from Swarovski crystal with the intention of using sapphires and diamonds at a much, much later date. In May 2020, in an effort to further raise awareness for Stemeria, we set up a YouTube channel and posted our first ever video, our national anthem. But it was in June 2020, just before the one year anniversary of Stemeria, that the most exciting development in Stemeria's entire history took place. The birth of the first ever Stemerian citizen and future Empress of Stemeria, Princess Elena. So as you can see, the first year of Stemeria's existence was very much a case of us just wanting to get everything that we could in place before we started to grow, to expand, and to really promote ourselves to the wider world. We wanted to make sure that all of the finer details were looked at, considered, and then refined as much as possible. And as I said at the start of this video, Stemeria's values, our objectives, our aspirations, and the plan, the roadmap, and how we're going to be accomplishing these, this has not changed. This has only been built upon further. So in terms of buying our own land, growing our own food, supplying our own water, generating our own energy, in terms of uh, establishing trade networks, utilizing sound money, all of this was already in place. All of this was already the plan and has remained the plan since the very first days of Stemeria and arguably even before that. So June 2019 to June 2020 was obviously a very eventful year. We made great strides in the right direction. However, we still did not have these key components that we were looking for. We didn't have the land. We didn't have the community. We didn't have the industries. We had generated some revenue through uh, the sale of merchandise and being able to raise funds from Sumerian citizens and Sumerian supporters through voluntary contributions but it was nothing significant and it wasn't an industry. It wasn't something that can reliably generate us revenue. And so even though that some steps had been taken, some strides had been made, we still weren't in a position where we could really push things in the way that we wanted to. And obviously come June, 2020, we obviously had another issue to contend with, the pandemic. And as we'll see in the next episode of this series, the pandemic, the birth of Princess Eleanor and myself starting a new job really curtailed a lot of our initial plans in terms of what we wanted to do the following year. But nevertheless, we did continue to make strides. We did continue to make progress. And you will see all of that in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this video and you wanted to show support for Stemeria and for the wider empire, then please feel free to give this video a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll catch you in the next one.